Girls to the Front, its equal pay day. A man was arrested after targeted attacks on homeless men. And the latest on what's happening in Ukraine? It's Laura. It's Tuesday. Here's the news. Let's get to it. The short list is a snappy USA Today news roundup. Subscribe to the newsletter here or text messages here. It's equal pay day, but we aren't having a party. Here's why, this date marks the amount of time it takes women's pay to catch up with men's from the year before. It's real, and even decades after the Equal Pay Act of 1963 was signed into law by President John F. Kennedy, women are still not paid the same as men in this country. Women who work full-time in the United States make the median weekly of just 83 cents for every dollar paid to men. And the pay gap is even wider for women of color, mothers of young children and women with disabilities. Due to pay inequality, women stand to lose more than $400 oh, 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 over the course of a 40-year career. In the words of equal pay trailblazer Lily Ledbetter, those pennies add up to real money. Read more from Charlotte A. Burroughs, chair of the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. A man wanted in a string of shootings targeting men experiencing homelessness in New York and Washington, D.C. was arrested early Tuesday, police said. At least five men were shot, two fatally, since March 3, in a series of attacks that police in both cities said were connected. The Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives said its agents arrested the suspect around 2.30 a.m. Tuesday in southeast Washington. Advocates for people experiencing homelessness said the killings are a grand reminder of the vulnerability and stigmatization facing the homeless population on a daily basis. Addressing homelessness has become a focal point of public safety efforts in New York City after a number of targeted attacks against women of Asian descent.